guys and welcome back. Baby mom, hi everybody. Oh, you're so extra. Okay, so guys, today we got a little treat for you. We're gonna uh, make something from my mom's culture. You wanna tell me a little about it? Well, my my father is from Eleuthera, an island outside of Nassau. Okay. So what we do, we specialize in what they call conch. Um, it's come from the shell here. Uh oh. And this is a conch shell. Right. And then they pull the meat out from here. Okay. And it looks like this. Can you see? Yeah. It looks like this, okay? When you pull it out the when shell. You pull it out the shell. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we chop it up. So we're gonna show you how to make it. I can't give you all my special ingredients, but I'll give you a nice time, a little information that you can help with it. You can make it yourself. Make it yourself, make it right. your own. So we're making conch fritters. You can make conch in every kind of way. You can fry the conch by itself, stew the conch, make conch salad. Mm -hmm. What else? You can do, um, Conk and rice, you can do dress conk. Right. Um, but today we're doing fritters. Right. So fritters. what do we have? What ingredients do we have? I'm gonna let her, she doesn't cook often, so she's taking the lead on this, and this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so basically what a fritter is, let me give y'all the gist. Basically a fritter is, we're making a dough, a batter, in a sense. It's like a pancake almost. Right, and then we add the conk, add various seasonings and ingredients in it, and we fry it. Okay. And that is the fritter. So what she just added, which she did not tell you, Mom. I did do the self-rising flour. Right. So this is like half a bag. This is a good portion. Mm -hmm. It just depends on how thick or how thin you like your batter. And how much comp you have to put in your batter. Right. So okay. we're going to chop up. We already chopped up some. If you can see, it's pretty thick. Mm -hmm. We like it thick because we like to taste the conk in the fridge. Right. So, this, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut up one piece. I save one piece that show you how to cut up the conch. When it comes out, you, start, you slice it here. Okay, you slice it. Mm. I just want to try a piece by itself, y'all. It tastes good. You can eat it raw, too. Yes, you can eat it raw. It's very, mm. very good. With some lemon juice mm. or lime juice. Then you take it, and then you chop it up. Now the fun thing about conch is, we went to St. Martin one time and we went deep sea diving in the ocean. I don't remember what ocean we were in. Mm -hmm. Snorkeling. Snorkeling. And you go to the bottom of the ocean and the conch sit at the bottom of the ocean. Right. So like I said, you can eat it raw, put a little lemon juice, put a little bell pepper, a little onion. Delicious. You can make a ceviche too. People like ceviche. Mm -hmm. You can make a ceviche with it. Um, we get our conch from Miami. We're from Florida. Mm -hmm. So we get our conch from there whenever we go visit, which we go quite often throughout the year, um, and bring it back. We bring back a whole bunch of fish seafood because it comes straight off the boat when you're in Florida. And it's right. more affordable in Florida here. It's not right. as affordable. Okay, so she's cut up everything. So the conch, the conch is cut up. Mm -hmm. So now what we're going to do, we're going to start adding the ingredients to it, okay? So are we seasoning the conch or are we seasoning the batter? No, we're, we're going to season the batter. So okay. the conch is going to go in the batter and it's going to be already seasoned. Okay. You don't need to season your conch because the conch... It's already stored in what we keep it in salt water. We keep it in its natural habitat. So when we freeze it, we freeze it in salt water. So then when we come out, when we get ready to cook it, we let it soak. We wash it off very thoroughly to get the salt out of it. And it keeps that freshness taste to it. And make sure it makes it not tough. Because if you don't store it in salt, salt water, it gets tough. Yeah, it could, get, it could get kind of tough. Okay, so let's start now. I got to, um, let's put in our seasoning. We're going to use um, uh, some onion. Onion. Okay, <laughs> and okay, <laughs> this is a paprika. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm not a cook, I'm just, I love my cook. Okay, I'm just dumping it in. Black pepper. Black pepper. And it's a saison seasoning. Yeah, that's Y'all don't know about that saison seasoning. That yes. is perfect for all yes. types of seafood. Yes, yes, yes. And that was garlic powder. And that was garlic powder, I'm sorry. Now, okay, <laughs> so now we're just gonna whisk this together. Ooh. Yes, yeah, so and mix it in. Okay. 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 She's then reading we, off her. Yes. Her I'm reading off my Because I have to make sure that I get it right. Okay. <laughs> bacon. I need bacon powder, two, two um, tablespoons. So I'm going to do that. You want to do that, T? I can you do, do that. that for me. You can do that for me. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to mix in the onion, the bell pepper, and two the celery. Yes. 
two tablespoons, okay? So this is baking powder. I don't know if you said baking soda or baking powder, but... Baking powder. This is baking exactly. powder. Baking powder, not soda. So, okay, add your... You this can is a melody in. of different bell peppers. Yeah. Give me a... The whole, you just do the mm -hmm. whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. You just put it in there. Hey, YOLO. Okay, and then we got onions. onions. We cheated. Yeah, I bought these chopped because I was not about to sit here and chop all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. I know. I buy it that way too. Okay. So, okay, I'll put this away. You can mix that up, Twyla. Okay, I'm going to use a spoon for this. So we mix it up like so. Make sure all the ingredients are coated in the flour. All the seasoning is incorporated. Mm -hmm. We need some hot sauce and water. We got a little bit of water. I'm ready when you see it when you're ready. Okay, okay. you want to get a cup and bring I it over have a cup. I had a... Oh, hold on. Let me get a cup. <laughs> we were almost prepared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I usually have my cups and stuff over here. <laughs> on the side over here, but we're trying to decorate. To go so you got like a mug full. Yes. So you're gonna add we add water at a little bit at a time just right. to make sure we get the right consistency. Put some, just put some hot sauce in it, give it a little pop pop to it. And she just dumping stuff in here. Yeah, that's how I do it. I don't measure. So but it looks like we need a little more water. It's, yeah. it's thickening up. Okay, that's what we want. Alright. She's like me with the ingredients. We don't know how much we put in stuff. So we just put it to to the ancestors tell us there that's good. Go. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when they say it's good, <laughs> then we say it's good. Okay? And they let us know on our soul that it's right. Right. That's right. when right. we know it's right. I need to get some. I'm going to squeeze some limes in that as well. Get my juicer. Sticking it up so I can see. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to turn like an orange because that's the color that we want. So let's just squeeze this in here. Ah. You need to do it. Fresh. Oh, I got it. I'm strong. Okay, go for that. I put one more going. Good. Read one more. Probably it's one line. One line that we yeah. I'll put some more. Full lime. Yeah. Fresh lime. I always want you to use fresh ingredients. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think you'll ever meet two people that make their comfort the same way. Yeah, that's correct. Everybody makes it to their liking, to right. their preference. Some put more hot sauce than others. Mm -hmm. Less bell peppers than others. It's just all. Ooh, that's looking good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And see, that's why you don't need to to um, season your comp because that is where your seasoning going to go in. And you don't put your lime juice on your comp because it makes it a little tough. So just use it in your batter. See that? See how thick it is? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's it. That's, that's what you need right here. Mm -hmm. That makes a nice, fluffy, plump. Comforter. Yes. All right. Okay, so I want to do, I want to taste their batter just to see if it's just okay. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. What you got? Give a little more hot sauce. A little hot, more hot sauce in it. Give it a little shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see, that's what we do. We just add as we go. Mm-hmm. You see, the other season, you know, it's good. Yeah, everything else is good. <clears throat> Ooh, I smell it now. Mm hmm All right. Okay. Is it thick enough? No. <laughs> it's perfect. It's okay. Taste it. Uh, oh, you want to go ahead and mix it? No, no, That's no, perfect. No, no, okay. okay, I think we're ready. Shop is open. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, now what we got to do? Add the comp. You're going to add the comp. Put all your conk in there. Conk is in the bowl. Now we're gonna mix that in. Oh, this is yeah. actually gonna make a lot of comfort. Good. Because what you can do is what we do. You can freeze it. Yes, you do. You can freeze it. And what we do always, we used to have some batter with freezing. You take it out and throw it out and cook it for a later date. Because we um, eat seafoods every Friday. Yes, yeah, seafood Friday. <laughs> That's what it's called. Seafood Friday. Okay, guys. So the oil is nice and heated. So we're gonna head over onto the pan. I'm gonna give y'all a closer look over there so y'all can really see, like I said, the comfort being made. Let's head on over that way. When I want to test to see if the oil is really ready, old school, like grandma used to do, take a little bit of water. It's ready to fry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nigga. 
Okay, I can't do that. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Can you hold it for me? Yeah, hold it for me. And drop it in. You know what's not funny. Okay. Ooh, y'all see it playing? It's a crack. Crack snapple pop. Crack snapple pop. Oh, no worries. <laughs> we'll give it another time. Crack snapple pop. There it goes. <laughs> Okay. All right. Now we're gonna put it down. Here. All right. Okay. Put the batter. Y'all see? O M G. Look at it. It, it smells so good too. Oh yeah. So with our comforters, my mom makes a special sauce. Yes. You gonna tell them what's in it? Well, I can't tell you what's in it. <laughs> okay. It's a special sauce. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Okay. But it goes really well with the comforts. I'm going to tell y'all, it's, it's... You can't do that. Okay, you can't tell. Okay, what is the base of it? The base of it is a sauce. <laughs> okay, that's all. I try, y'all. That's all you get. It's a sauce. Okay. Okay? So if you want the special sauce, you just call Miss Anderson. They got to pay a special price for yeah. it, too, for the special sauce. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I feel like? What? I think it's Twilight the Clock somewhere. Okay, well. So I'm gonna leave you here yes. while this is browning. Okay. And I'm gonna go let the people know what Twyla O'Clock is. Okay. Okay, so well, I'll tend to the comforter. Okay, honey, I'll, I'll be go. back. All right. <laughs> so guys, I told you it was Twyla O'Clock and you probably wonder what the heck I was talking about. Well, I introduced you to Twyla O'Clock <laughs> with this cocktail hour. Woo! So today, I'm going to be making a very easy cocktail that is super easy for you to make at home. It's going to be a pomegranate margarita. Y'all ready for that? So all you need is margarita mix, pomegranate liqueur, your favorite tequila, today mine is Patron. And then if you want to be fancy, get you some salt to put on the rim and a lime for garnish. So we're going to start, I'm going to garnish, um, Put my salt on my rim first. So I have my cute little glass here. Take you a lime, rub you some. You can either rub it all the way around or rub it on a little piece. It's completely up to you, honey. Get you some salt. This is margarita salt. Okay, this is not regular table salt, honey. Put it in there. Y'all see how that looks? Gorgeous. Make sure I pour out that extra salt. So we got our glass, we're gonna sit that there. Oops, that went flying, we'll get that in a second. So I have me a shaker here with some ice in it. It's filled up to like about right here. I'm making a few cocktails, honey. It's been a long week. So we're gonna open, oh y'all, listen to that pop, hold on. Use it to my ears. So we got us a regular shot glass. We're gonna do two shots of Patron. And if you're feeling frisky, you could do a little more. Let's see. Who's counting? So now we're going to take the liqueur. Do a splash. Don't put too much because this is really sweet. And then we're going to add margarita mix. It really doesn't matter. This is just a regular brand of margarita mix. Whatever margarita mix you like, honey, will work fine. Pour that in there. I like to taste my liquor in my drinks, so I don't put a lot of the extras. Okay, so now we're gonna put our cap on here. Shake, 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 honey. And now, let's put our garnish on here. Let's make it pretty. Y'all wanna see this come out? Ooh. We got a pomegranate margarita, baby. Look at that. Let me taste it for y'all. This is perfect for Cinco de Mayo, I'm just saying. Mm, perfect. Now back to the video. So now we're gonna do a <coughs> bite and take it. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Put you wanna share these? Yeah, we can share one. Do that on mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is put the special sauce on top. Y'all see what it looks like. That's all you can she see. She won't tell you. No, no. I'm trying to give y'all hints on what it is. Y'all see that consistency? Okay. Okay. 
it up with the people? No, they don't need to do okay. that. Okay, okay. Okay, now you can just break a piece off and taste it. Okay. Oh, that's hot. Yes, you see, see that? that steam? Look at, let, me show the, let me see the inside of it. See how pretty it looks. Whoa, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I got you a plate. Okay, good. Right here. Uh-oh. It's hot. Be careful. Okay, you ready? <laughs> it's hot. You got to wait till it cool off, okay? Let's see. I'm about to go in. Go, you, you go I'm in. Burn my tongue? I don't know. I'm not doing it. Taste. Mm. Good. Straight off the island, mom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That was so good. Ah! This is good. Daddy, wanna come try these? Come, Daddy. Girl, come, come on, on, Daddy. Come on over. Dressed. Daddy, come on over and try one. You see my hand come to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy cooking with me and Mama T. Yes. That was an experience. Yes. <laughs> Very good, guys. Enjoy. So come that come to the Henderson home and at some point we'll have you taste some comfort. Alright, guys, make sure you guys are subscribing, commenting, liking, hitting that notification bell so you'll know every time your girl drops another banger. Alright, y'all. Right, I'm excited. Okay. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.